So we talked about current relays in an earlier video for the smaller compressors. Now we're going to talk about potential relays. Now potential relays have normally closed contacts that allow the full line voltage to, to be applied to the start windings. And what happens is when we have those normally closed contacts and that then the relay coil becomes energized. And when that relay coil is energized, the contacts open and it drops the start winding out of the, the circuit. Now, these contacts and the relay coil are energized and the contacts are opened by the counter EMF or back EMF from the motor itself. As long as that motor is running after startup, that back EMF keeps the coil energized during the entire cycle of operation. And that keeps the start winding out of the circuit. Let's take a look at the wiring diagram of a potential relay and start capacitor. So here is our compressor. Line voltage coming in here. Common start and run. Run winding, start winding. These are, these are our compressor terminals. So let's pop a potential relay into the circuit now with a start capacitor. So when we start the compressor and apply power to the compressor, the potential relays contacts are normally closed. So if we follow our schematic diagram, we have our incoming voltage comes through here, through the start capacitor, through the normally closed contacts, back down through the start windings, back to common. There's our starting circuit, start winding, start capacitor, and potential relay. What happens is when the motor starts, the compressor motor starts, there is what's called a counter or back EMF, and that back EMF is what energizes the potential relay coil. And this relay, when it's energized, is energized, opens these contacts, and it drops the start winding and start capacitor out of the circuit. So now we have used the start winding and start capacitor to give it that oomph it needs to start. Once it's started, it drops that out and the run winding carries the rest of the, the cycle. And it will keep the compressor running and will hold this potential relay open as long as power is applied. Now once power has been removed from the circuit and the compressor stops running, these contacts that were held open will now close again waiting for the next startup sequence. Okay, one of the things I found difficult because you don't run into bad potential relays very often, but when you do, it's really hard to remember how the heck do you wire it into the system. And then you got to get the instructions out, and if you forgot to take a picture or write down how the old one was wired, then it becomes hard to remember. But I, and I didn't know this until I got this book, but there is a little memory jogger, and it's called, and it's called 521 Can She Run? And that's a little memory jogger for you. So it is 5, Terminal 5, Terminal 2, Terminal 1, can, which starts for C, she, which stands for the start, run, of course, it's that corresponds to the R terminal. So it is 5, 2, 1, and you connect it, can, she, run. Do you see that? So if you ever forget, you are not sure, and you just are lost, remember that 521 can she run. All right, nice little rhyme to keep you keep your memory in check.